This is your setup for your physics internal. You are going to need to get yourself a piece of cardboard, so the size of an end of cardboard, five CD containers, or five DVD containers, or five books, and something very light, so possibly even a toilet roll holder. Okay? You're going to make yourself your measuring tape. So how we make that is you go and get yourself a piece of newspaper and you cut yourself a strip. All right. Then you carefully fold it in half and we're going to do lots of half folds. Fold it in half, fold it in half again and crease it. Fold it in half again and crease it. Fold it in half again and crease it. Open it out. Fold that piece in half. Turn around. Fold that piece in half. It's a little bit bigger than a centimetre, but it doesn't matter because it's all consistent. And then what you're going to do is you just get a pencil or a ruler or something, it doesn't matter, and you just make little marks where it folds. And where you start, that would be zero, and then you go one, two, three, four. We're just going to say that's centimetres. All right. Then you take it, and you add it to the bottom of this one. So my one here finishes at, I don't know, so I would just sellotape it here to continue. All right, so when we start, we want to check that the length that we've got rolling is going to be long enough. So the last thing we want to do is do our other four readings and have our little roll go too far. So set up your five containers, put your roll at the top, make certain it's straight, and gently let go. And yes, it's going to stop before I reach the carpet. So now I drop my containers down to one. I get my little roller again. I put it on the top so I make certain that the end of my ramp is sitting at zero. I put my roller at the top. I let go. And I just roll it down the ramp until it stops. Then I very carefully bring it over to the ruler and I measure what that number is and write it down. And remember, if it was this far, so if it was in the little bit, I can go halves and I can estimate quarter. All right, so it's sitting there. So that's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So that's 39 centimeters. I take it back to the top of my ramp and I repeat it until I get four similar results. And then I put another CD case underneath the ramp and lift it up again. Four similar results, another CD case, another CD case. With a roller, you need to measure the height from the floor to the top of the ramp. That is the variable we're changing. So you do that the first time, take your ramp away, put your second CD case in or DVD case, put your ramp back, make certain the end of the ramp is sitting at zero, measure from the floor to the top of your ramp. That's the second height. Put in your third CD case and fourth CD case and fifth. Once you've got five different ramp heights, four repeats of each ramp height, you can put in a results table 
and average.